Hi guys, welcome to my fall favorites of 2019. I think I've done a couple of these, so I'll try to find them and link them down below in the past. I have a very long list today, so let's not spend too much time into this intro and dive in. I'm going to give you a list of things that I've seen on other typical fall favorites videos on YouTube, but I've also added a lot of other different um, things that I don't know is on anyone else's list. It may be, but my list is huge. So I'm just going to tell you all the categories and what my favorites are. Let's start off with probably the most typical category. Well, not category, but just an item that is typically seen across all fall favorites, which is going to be what is my favorite fall candle. So I'm actually going to include some screenshots for you because my favorite fall candle I'm still using and burning, which is the pumpkin cupcake by the Yankee. Is that right? Why don't, why am I saying that wrong? But anyway, it's my favorite i love it it smells great but i also want to point out this one is from bath and body works it is the white caramel cold brew i've already burned through the entire thing and i really enjoyed this one too here's one that i'm not sure is on anyone's fall favorite list which is favorite piece of decor you guys know that i love to decorate my house and craft things and all that stuff so my favorite piece has got to be my centerpiece on my table where i constructed the rooster and then the dollar tree floral inside of it it's just so beautiful it's vibrant and it just gives off a fall vibe if i've ever seen one now the next one is favorite section of my house i've decorated my whole Whole house or most of it for fall and I have to say that the kitchen is my favorite I really went back and forth I wasn't sure if it was gonna be the living room or the kitchen but it's the kitchen I love all the little touches that I made and I will link my decorate with me video down below my favorite fall scarves now it's still not cold enough to wear a scarf down in Dallas we're getting there but I know these are my favorite they were probably on my favorites last year I know that I'm gonna grab them because I've enjoyed them for a couple of years now and it is this beautiful mustard like a bright mustard yellow it's an infinity scarf it's just so soft I think I got this on Amazon. I'm not sure. If I did, I'll link it down below. And then this one right here, I mean, this is a fall plaid because you've got the orange, the navy, and the cream colors in here. I just love this one as well. And I'm not sure where I got this. I'm sure it's in a video somewhere, but maybe Amazon. I'm not sure, but this one is a favorite. The next one that I wanted to include in this series well, not series because it's only one video. I'm only doing one fall favorites. But the next two items, I wanted to show you guys my favorite fall vest. Now, technically, I have not worn these, but I know they're going to be my favorite because I bought them. I've actually been looking at this one, which was in a recent Amazon video, and I have been eyeing this for years. So I'm very excited. I cannot wait to wear this beauty. I was actually asked about the sizing because I guess the reviews were back and forth, but I got a medium and it fits like a dream. It's not tight around the arm. So if you wanted to wear a bulky sweater, it'll be great. And I just thought that it fit really nicely. Um, the next one I got on eBay and I just cannot wait to wear this one. It's got this equestrian horse. I don't know, it just feels fall to me. It is by L.L. Bean and it's a puffer vest. Next up are going to be my favorite fall shoes. So these are typically what I have been wearing as of lately. So first up are these booties. I think they've made it into the 2018 fall favorites as well. They're just my go-tos. They're really comfortable. It's got a nice heel. I can walk in them. I can shop in them. And I'm actually, this is actually paired with this outfit. And we'll talk about that in a minute. Here are my next favorites. They are open toed. The weather is still pretty warm here. So these still work out really, really well. And you get the gorgeous fringe. I don't, Cupid, is this Cupid? I don't know if I got these off of Forever 21 or not, but I just think these are so gorgeous and go with so many outfits. And again, it's a really nice heel. So I'm not, I'm not uncomfortable walking in them. These are some of my new puppies. I got these off of Shein. I just love the bow detail. These slide mules, whatever they call these, are really trendy right now. And they go with so many outfits and they have been a favorite of mine as well. And I will link these down below for you. 
And my favorite, some of my favorite go-tos, they're They've been around for so long. These, these are actually kind of new, but these are just my Converse. I think they're just fun. They go with so many of my outfits that I put together, and there's just something about this, I guess, because when I think of Converse, I think of school, and school starts in the fall, so I just think fall with those. And then these have been my favorite Nikes as of lately, because you guys know that I love wearing my workout Nike stuff, and I had to include these in here. They have not disappointed me. I think I paid 40 bucks for these on eBay. Fall bracelets. So here is a new one. I honestly don't remember where I got this, but I know it is in a vlog haul somewhere if it would actually focus. Aren't these colors beautiful? Don't they just look like fall? And these rainbow looking bracelets, I don't know. They're, they're actually pretty trendy as well and they're really fun to stack. They look gorgeous when you just stack them with the watch and other bracelets. The next bracelet I have so enjoyed putting together. I've been talking about this on my vlog channel. I have a vlog channel if you didn't know, Crafty Girl Vlogs. I show you guys everything that I buy and that doesn't make it onto this channel. And one of those things is this mesh bracelet. I found out that these mesh bracelets are pretty trendy and I built this set from AliExpress and it did not cost more than like five bucks. I mean the bracelet was a dollar, some of these things are like 84 cents, and I built all the little charms. Um, some of them for me like the camera kind of YouTube and then the HP, and the lightning and the owl, that's Harry Potter. My daughter loves Harry Potter and I just wanted my bracelet to have things that identified her to me. And then this wave one is also her. She loves that Pura Vida vibe and the, the wave ring, which is pretty popular, even though hers was like walked on and bent. But anyway, these mesh bracelets are gorgeous. And you can just, you can just go to AliExpress and you can build whatever it is that you want. And it's so fun. Let's dive into the makeup category. So what I included for this is going to be my lip balm, which is going to be this one. I have been using this not just for fall, this is just kind of every day. But this is something that I use very, very, I don't know why the camera, of course, does not focus on it. And I got this off of Amazon. Um, the other lipsticks, now these are gonna be fall because I usually like lighter colored lipsticks on me. Um, I feel like darker colored lipsticks tends to make me look a little bit older, but I can't help myself with some of the darker lips for fall. And I have these Lorac ones here that I really love. Typically I wear red more in the winter than fall, but I love a good brown. It reminds me of the 90s and I love 90s lipstick colors, which is that standard like brown. <laughs> um, so I love those, but I have to tell you, my fall favorite, and I've only worn it once, and I already know it's my favorite, is this Jeffree Star lipstick. I don't even think, it, it's not his fall collection, it's his summer collection, but this one, I'm actually wearing now, but it's I've been wearing it for a while. It is called Beam Me Up, and they're going for that Beam Me Up Scotty, which if you don't know what that means, it is from Star Trek where he tells him to beam him back um, to the ship. Why won't you focus? It's just so incredibly beautiful and glittery and golden almost. Ugh, I just love this lipstick and I'm going to keep wearing this one for fall for sure. Um, just a couple of other random things. I haven't moved on from my favorite mascara. The Lash Paradise is my favorite. It's the most flattering. Um, application on my eyelashes. It may not be for some other people. Like my daughter, I don't think is a fan of it, but I love it for my eyelashes. Um, favorite blush. I've actually moved on to not Luminoso in this video, but I still love new Luminoso, but I want to show you guys what I've been wearing lately, which is this one, which is Tea Rose. Probably more of a summer color, but I have been wanting to wear pink. Pink doesn't show up that well on me though, but this is what I'm wearing. It's, been, it's what I've been grabbing for. And my favorite, favorite, I wouldn't call this foundation because it's not a foundation, but I'm using it like a foundation, which is this Maybelline 
Dream BB Cream. Oh my gosh, I love this so much. I have, I usually, before wearing this, I was wearing concealer as kind of my, my overall face application. I've never, I haven't worn a foundation in ye like 10 years. I don't like how they feel cakey and then in the south it just gets too hot and you sweat and it's gross. Like I just don't want to feel my makeup and I don't feel anything when I wear this. And I have really bad dark circles. If you watch my vlogs, you know what I look like with all makeup. Let's get real. And I feel like this does a really good job. I don't, sometimes I don't even use concealer um, and it just, I love this thing. Let's talk eyeshadow and eyeshadow palettes. I don't know if you guys have noticed, but I love a good like brick red brown color. I feel like it's very flattering for my eye color, which is green, but sometimes they can appear hazel on certain days. Some days they're just pure full on green and some days they're hazel. It's just the most bizarre thing. And red colors and orange colors really make green and hazel eyes pop. And I have been on this. I got this for myself for Christmas like three, four Christmases ago. I'm still on it. Has it probably expired? Probably, but it's working out. And I love it. I use Puree Summer Yum Caramelized and that's pretty much it. But you know what, looking at this, Bellini looks lovely and just peachy I've dipped into. So I need to try those out. But it's basically these two colors. Like, to get real, Yum, su Summer Yum and Puree are my favorites. And so my favorite colors are going to be this orange one, which I believe is peachy, and then this brown one down here, which I think is called Sandy, but I'm not sure. Her colors are on the back, and I'm, I'm, I've been very confused for the last five minutes on how to identify what colors are what but those are basically the two colors that I reach for in this palette. I had to do what is my favorite purse for fall and it is this guy right here. I recently just got this from Amazon and I did my Amazon like designer dupes and awesome finds video. I'll link that down below for you as well. It is a little backpack and I love this because I can just be hands free when I'm shopping, especially for the holiday season coming up. I just love the gold detail and this is definitely my favorite. So this one you guys have not seen on me yet. I might have done a video in this, but is this not fall staring at you right now? I got this off of Shein. I'll link it down below for you guys. I love this sweater. And here's one, I know I've worn this in a video, also Shein. It's such a good quality. I really do love the stuff that I get from Shein. There, there have been misses in the past, but these are all hits. And I am so in love with this sweater. I just love the red and the orange combo. Yeah, love that one. I also have worn this one as well. Is this not the most gorgeous fall sweater you've ever seen in your life? And it is a dream to wear. It's so soft and I love how deep, look at this, look, I love how deep the sleeves are and it's different. The fit is different from anything that I have. It's this gorgeous color blocking and it is just fall everywhere for that sweater. Here is an oldie but goodie. If you've been around, you've seen me do a video or two in this guy. I think I got this in Destin while I was on vacation in the summertime at Wet Seal. So don't even know it's available anywhere anymore. You might want to try Poshmark, but I mean, it's a fox, you know, of course. And then this one, which was also in a recent uh, video for my Amazon. And yes, for the person who said this looks like Neapolitan ice cream, you are correct. And I love this sweater and I love the color combination. It's definitely different. It's not like your typical orange stuff, but I still get fall vibes from this. Now let's talk about favorite fall outfit. I don't think I included this in my category last year and it's actually what I'm wearing. And I just put it together today for filming. So I filmed this for my Dollar Tree haul tutorial and I just love it so much. I'll try to throw up a picture that I took from Instagram. 
Instagram because I'm not going to stand up for this. But I love, I've had both of these pieces forever and only recently did I just think of combining them together. I think that's why I love it so much because I'm like, wow, look what I just made out of old pieces that I've had in my closet forever. I was gifted this from my sister-in-law. We went shopping, I think, I think we were doing like Black Friday shopping one year and I was eyeing the sweater and I fell in love with it and next thing I knew she, she bought it for me. And she's like one of those people where she pays attention to everything you say and she like stores it in files and then it manifests for you. Anyway, so I love how this outfit looks together and I'm wearing Dollar Tree green socks. Did you hear my hip hop? Yeah. It's called 37. Favorite sunglasses have to be my Ray-Bans. There's something about these that I feel like is fall, probably because they're brown. They have, I don't know, just these because. Now, I'm typically an aviators person, but I feel like aviators make more sense to me in the summertime. So these have been my favorite, but I also love these because they're they have that green, that forest green look to them and yeah, but these are definitely my fall faves. Let's talk books. I love reading in the fall. It's just something so calming and peaceful about it. And I, I love for fall to be calm and peaceful, especially when the weather changes and you get those dark gray, rainy looking clouds. And there's just something about cozying up in a nice pair of socks and a sweater and a book and a fireplace going. Like, that's just... That's the fall aesthetic for me. And you guys know I love to read books and you know I love Joanna Lindsay. And if you don't know, you do now. Uh, I pretty much don't read anything else. However, there's an author in mind that I'm gonna try soon, but this one is called When Love Awaits. It's so, so good. Actually, let's get into my favorite fall pajamas. And these are going to be my two favorites for the obvious reasons that they just look the most fall out of all the pajamas I own. And this was also in a recent haul. I think both of these are Old Navy. I don't know if anyone else includes favorite fall blanket, but you guys know I'm a blanket junkie. So I have to include my favorite fall and it's this one. I don't even know where I got it, but it's my favorite. Has that Sherpa type lining on the inside, but I've washed it so many times. There's Look, there's like a hole from Loxie, but this one truly is my favorite. Let's get into some food and drinks here. So my favorite drink, I have to say, shocking, is nothing from Starbucks or a coffee shop. It's just good old coffee that I make at home in my coffee pot. Not even the Keurig anymore. Just a good old standard. You pour the, the coffee in the, you know, the filter, and you pour the water, and like, you let it go. Um, it is the Dunkin's Original Blend, my favorite. Dessert. Okay, so this one's gonna be left field, but it's the Domino's Brownies from the, yes, the, the pizza place, Domino's. Why is no one talking about these damn brownies? You guys, they're so good, it's just, it's out of this world. And it's like, it's almost like a hidden secret because no, no one's talking about it. And they're the best ever. Favorite Halloween candy? Kit Kats, you know, bags empty. Probably very basic, but it's just true, which is chili. I'm about to make it, haven't made it this year yet, but it's been my favorite fall food since, uh, since my last relationship. He's actually the one who gave me this recipe and I've been in love with it ever since. And I've kind of like, I don't even know that I've strayed from his ingredients. I love it so incredibly much and I can't wait to make it. And if it couldn't be more obvious, I just thought I'd throw this in here anyway, but my favorite fall color is orange. Favorite fall activity. I would have to say movie marathons. I'm a homebody. I absolutely love that. I enjoy it immensely. It's like I just can't ever get enough of it. I like I'm excited for tonight. I'm just going to crash on the couch and just watch a bunch of fall movies and I love it and I just it's a great fall activity for me. The second one that I have to throw in here is a good neighborhood walk. I have loved doing this. I do this myself um, in my own neighborhood, but then when I go with babysit my niece, it's my favorite thing for us to do. She even now gets to the point where she knows. She points to her stroller, she goes walk, walk, 
it's our thing. Like we love it. I love, it's weird, but I just love the breeze and the trees rustling and, and everyone kind of being out and about and, and kids playing and riding their bike. It's just such a good time and it's the simplest activity. All right, so we gotta do the bake, basic Hocus Pocus. Isn't this on everyone's fall favorites? Uh, well, maybe not everyone. I can understand that, but Hocus Pocus. They're, when they do the song, I put a spell on you, and then they all of a sudden, like they've been dead for 300 years, then all of a sudden they get up on this stage and they've got backup dancers, backup singers, and they, they didn't even practice. I'm here for that. You've got mail. It's been one of my go-tos lately. Uh, I've been watching this a lot. It's a very comforting movie. I put it on when I go to sleep. I just love their voices. I love the music. I love the jingling of the bells that's in here. Like everything. I love everything about it. Halloween Town High. This is a kitty family style movie and I love watching this. I just love the Halloween town and the way that all the creatures look and um, just everything about this. Halloween Town 1, 2, and Halloween Town High are my favorite, especially with this girl. I know they did a fourth movie with a new girl, but the first three with that girl is my favorite. And then this is a recent new one that I hauled. I did like a fall haul pajamas and movies. I'll link that down below as well. And I picked up The Monster Squad. This is an 80s movie. I just watched it. Really liked it. Here's one. This is why I love doing categories like this because I feel like I get to introduce you guys to movies you may not know about. And if a man answers, oh, what a gem of a find. I've never watched this before. I just randomly picked it when I was buying movies and I love this. I don't think there's anything false specific about it, but I love it. And it's got Sandra D and Bobby Darren in it and it's so funny and so good. Let's do favorite TV shows. So I'm looking down at a list. Okay, so Frasier, hello. Sabrina the Teenage Witch, and I mean the Sabrina from the 90s with Melissa Joan Hart. Um, I Love Lucy and the Munsters. Those have been like what it, I've actually been watching this fall. And then the other one is DCC Making the Team. Dallas Cowboys cheerleaders making the team. I blame Sierra for this, but I also thank her for this as well. I am obsessed with this show now, and I don't know if anyone else is following it, but Victoria, like it's obvious, like let's face it, Victoria made the team, we all know she made the team, but the fact that she didn't make the team last year and the way that she graciously, she was a class act when they cut her, and then she comes back lean, mean, strong, she's a machine. I, I'm getting goosebumps right now. I. I'm telling you right now, I feel like she, in a couple years as a veteran, she is going to be the point of the triangle, mark my words. And I'm just waiting for her to be handed that damn uniform, so I've been obsessed with the show. Let's do favorite YouTubers. I get asked this actually quite often who my favorite YouTubers are, and my list has changed a little bit. So Alexandria Garza, I love her. I love her vlog channel. I love her main channel. Traditions by the Seasons. This is brand new on my list. Uh, you guys told me about her, and thank you God that you did. I love her channel. It was a gem of a find. And her her fall videos, like if you just need fall in your life, you need to go watch her videos. Um, Tati. I go to Tati when I need makeup recommendations. She's always, I know she's going to tell me all the good stuff, and I've loved her for years and years. Uh, Natasha's Kitchen is a new one. I like watching food videos and recipe videos even though, ironically, I'm not doing that much cooking. And then Kaylee Melissa. This is a new one that I found as well and she is like a hair tutorial. Um, this is this is my normal my normal hair, but I feel like I'm gonna start watching. Um, I've already done a couple hairstyles that I've seen her do and I'm gonna be incorporating a lot more and I'm gonna be learning from her channel. And then of course you guys know KK and Baby J. Now let's get into Instagram accounts. Instagram is huge. I love it. It's a fun place to be. And here are my favorites. Mrs. Casual. She's like a fashion Instagram account. I love her style. It's very, it's closest to my style. There are some things that she wears I wouldn't wear, but there's a lot where I'm like, I love, love, love. She's the one who tells me all the great secrets about what's on Amazon. Um, so love her. Then there's, this one's not fall related, but 
I just love her and I look forward to all of her posts and it's Yasmin Na Nadi, Nadi, I'm not sure how to say her last name, but she is my favorite ballet dancer of all time and she dances for the Royal Ballet Company in London. Then there is the last three are actual like fall type accounts. So if you need to just see fall images in your feed, these are it. Fall and Halloween, cozy autumn time, and happy holidays. That's where it's at. Last but not least in my fall favorites of 2019 are going to be mugs and tumblers. These are my fall picks for this year for tumblers and they're both from Dollar Tree. This one says Happy Harvest. I got a whole set, but the orange Happy Harvest is my favorite. And then this one right here, which has all of the pumpkin everything on it. And what I like to do at night is I fill these up with ice and water and I keep it by my bed. That way I have like the air filter going on. I'm sure Loxie's hair is swirling around, which is awful. I don't want that stuff to land in an open drink container. So that's why I love these because you know, you've got a lid, they can't really spill that easily, and nothing's gonna float into them while I sleep. Now let's do mugs. You know, I mean, every one of my fall mugs is my favorite, but I pulled out just a couple so that I wouldn't be over the top. Here's a favorite. I believe I got this from Hobby Lobby. These two are new this year, and I believe I got them at Home Goods or TJ Maxx or something along those lines. They're more on the Halloween vine. Halloween vine. They're more, all right, I guess you could describe it that way. And we've got this gorgeous one, this pumpkin. Where'd I get this? The at-home store? Is that? Yeah, at the at-home store. And then this one's been one of my favorites. Um, probably my most favorite because I realized that whenever I go to get a mug, this is the one I reach for the most. And I believe I got this at the at-home store a few years ago. And is that it? That's it. So a pretty long video today. Hope that you guys enjoy. Tell me of all the things that I just showed you um, from my list was your favorite. And then tell me what your favorite, tell me what your favorite fall activity is. And that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you the next type of video like this will be my Christmas favorites. I ho hopefully I'll see you guys there. Bye.